Okay, in my last video I was looking at how you might like to change or like to consider changing duration so that you could end up with injecting more fuel. And I explained that it wasn't easy to calculate or work out exactly what the new values would be but I showed you a little trick that did give you some clue and does seem to offer at least a guide to what sort of values you should be using. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a look at start of injection. I'm going to look at start of injection 9 because that's the one that a hot engine is using and if you've looked at previous videos I've posted you will know that from looking at the start of injection selector map. Now that's for this file. Some files will have different start of injection selector maps and so they, you might need to look at perhaps SOI 7, SOI 8 and SOI 9. In other words start of injection maps 7, 8 and 9 but on this file you'd only really need to look at 9 if you wanted to make a change because that's the one that's being used for a hot engine and generally speaking you don't want to make changes for engines that are not up to temperature. Okay here's the raw data. Here's the data with factors and offsets. I'm cheating a little bit but that's deliberate this would have had minus signs in it. I've taken all the minus signs out. It won't affect the numbers. The numbers haven't changed. I've just taken the minus signs out. And while I'm here I'll just mention that this is the start of injection limiter raw data. Here's factors and offsets included. And again this would have had minus signs in it and I've taken those out. I haven't taken them out of the temperature up here. I've just taken them out of the raw data here. Now the reason is because what I'd like to do is show you a graph and if I show you a graph with minus signs in it will go the wrong way as it were. In other words it will go downwards like that and so it won't match in with any of the previous graphs we've looked at and so I will spend half my time explaining look at this the other way around which would just be completely stupid so I'm going to have the minus signs removed because I want to show you this graph and I want it to look pretty much like any other normal graph. So I'm just going to quickly pull this up as a graph. I'll call it, we're looking at 5000 revs, so I'll call it 5000 revs per minute. And the x-axis is going to be that information up there. So I'll accept that. I'll just quickly say that I either don't want a legend or I'll, I'll have it at the bottom and I'll have lots of grid lines because I prefer graphs that look like graphs and I'll just drag that over there to make it a bit bigger. Now the reason I've done this is to point out something I could have pointed out on the raw data on the chart but I can do it both ways this way. There's the increase in fueling 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 milligrams stops at 55 as this is going up, it's going up because the duration is getting longer. So as this is going up, the duration is getting longer because we've chosen to have more fuel at different points and more fuel will require a longer duration. And the result of the longer duration is that start of injection is going up. You can see there it's a very, very subtle slow curve, but it is going up. Now there are two reasons for that. Obviously if we have a longer duration start of injection will increase because it needs to occur a little bit earlier. That's one. And the other thing that might be occurring but it's difficult to see because we don't have the available data but there might be a very slight amount of advance built into this as well. It won't be much. It will only be somewhere between about 0 and 2 degrees. So in other words if this has gone from somewhere around about 17 let's say and ending up at somewhere around about 25 maybe two degrees of that total increase is real old-fashioned timing advance put in by the ECU and the rest is not real advance it's just advance due to the fact that you need injection to start a little bit earlier because duration has got longer. Okay now that's that point and now the other point I want to make is that as you get to about here the levels plateau, they flatten off. They look like the same three results don't they? Same three values. 
and the point I want to make here is that what it suggests is that if you were going to inject 60 it would still be the same level as that wouldn't it because if that's 25 Point five, and that is 25.5 and that is 25.5 then presumably the next value is 25.5 and the next is 25.5 and the next is 25.5 so presumably once we get to these last three values we've got as far as we need to go right, just get rid of that out of the way and let's just confirm that with the numbers 25.5 25.5 25.5 so if we were to say well actually what I would like is I would like a 60 and then I would like a 65 and then I would like a 70 on the end there what numbers should I use well the pattern here suggests that at this point I should simply use 25.5 25.5 25 25.5 because that's what it's done it's reached a sort of plateau and then further up here you can see exactly the same pattern so in other words all of these seem to reach a plateau so if I was deciding that I would add some more columns I'd be adding more columns with exactly the same numbers which obviously is fairly pointless so the first thing to consider when we get to finishing duration if we've increased duration like here the first thing to consider with start of injection is to do nothing so in other words we finish at duration and we take the car for a drive and we see how it's going or we put it on a rolling road and we see what we're going to get so that's the first thing we consider the second thing we might like to consider is to say to ourselves well okay if these figures are the same then perhaps it might be worth just changing these and putting them in there because we're not actually having any effect so it might be worth saying well okay what I'll do is I'll call that one 60 and I'll call this one 70 and then I could load that one up so I could load that map into my file and I could go and try that and see if it makes any difference now that shouldn't really make any difference just because we've changed those axes because the ECU should have been able to work out values for 60 and 70 based on this map even though they weren't on there but it does depend on the way the designers put the whole thing together so the simple thing to do is we try it with the two original values in there and then we come back we change those two to 60 and 70 and then we try it again if it makes no difference we go back to where we started if it makes a very slight difference or we feel it's made a difference then that's okay we'll say thanks very much and we'll keep that so that's the second option now a third option is to go and look at the limiter because the third option is to say well what's the maximum the limiter thinks I should be playing around with and of course the maximum the limiter thinks I should be playing around with is this I'm only taking this bit you'll see why in a moment so I'm just going to copy that and then I'm going to start at a thousand and the reason is these two charts are different sizes so there's a thousand so I'm going to go to a thousand and I'm going to put that there and I'm going to say paste I'm going to get silly numbers because of the calculations so I'm going to say values only then I'll get sensible numbers and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly format that so that the numbers make more sense and then these we know if we look at what's happening with the pattern will all be the same anyway so they will be 16.01 16.01 and 16.01 so those would all be the same anyway and I'm just going to put a little note to myself in here max in other words that's the max that I went and looked at on here so that's the maximum that the designers allowed for on the limiter so what I could do now is I could say to myself well what I'll do is I'll consider trying these values in my map because this is my original map isn't it my original map only goes to because these are all close let me just stick a box around it so there's my original map so my original map only goes to there 
and it did go 45 50 55 and I just changed those two and that's all I've done so what I'm going to do now is having looked at what the maximums might be I'm going to copy that and put it in there so this would be my third try as if, if you like I would say to myself I've tried the file with no change in SOI I've tried the file with these two columns with the axes renumbered so I've tried that so that was my second try and now I'm going to try it with increased SOI values in the last column to see if that makes a difference what I would not do and what I suggest you don't do is to start playing around with the numbers to make them something else completely you might want to do that at a later date when you feel more confident but at the beginning of playing around with maps never ever alter duration values so add some more in but never alter what's already there that's number one and then on start of injection never make up your own numbers now I'm not saying you can't do these things just don't do them when you're starting out because you'll just cause yourself grief so stick to plain and simple changes small change test it small change test it if the change has no real effect go back don't just say oh well, that had no effect but I'll leave it you might get a cumulative effect of changes that didn't seem to have an effect that do have an effect that you haven't noticed and if that is overheating part of the engine or overheating the turbocharger or something it may be a while before you notice that you've caused yourself a problem so don't just say oh I can't see any result from this change so I'll leave it undo it go back to the previous because there is no point in having changes if you don't understand what they're doing and they don't seem to have made an improvement Right, hopefully this little series of videos has helped people. If it hasn't, well, feel free to get in touch and tell me that they're rubbish if you're still awake. Right, I'll end there.